Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky question that many developers encounter. Our viewer is working with a .NET 4.6.1 service using HTTP web requests to send HTTPS requests, but they're facing a challenge. They have a Wireshark trace of the request and response, but it's encrypted and they need to decrypt it to troubleshoot an issue. They're wondering if they can use the private RSA key from their system or generate an SSL keylog file to help with decryption. Let's explore this question and uncover some potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember today just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To decrypt HTTPS messages captured in Wireshark, we need to understand how HTTPS works. HTTPS encrypts data using SSL TLS, which means we need access to the keys used for encryption. One method to decrypt HTTPS traffic is by using an SSL keylog file. This file contains the session keys used during the SSL handshake, allowing Wireshark to decrypt the traffic. To generate an SSL keylog file in your C-Sharp application, you can set an environment variable before running your application. Set the environment variable SSL key log file to a path where you want to save the log file. After setting the environment variable, run your application. The key log file will be created and you can then configure Wireshark to use this file for decryption. Finally, in Wireshark, go to edit then Preferences, and under Protocols, find TLS. Here, you can specify the path to your SSL key log file. This will allow Wireshark to decrypt the captured HTTPS traffic. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To decrypt HTTPS messages from a C-Sharp HTTP client using Wireshark, you can follow this workaround. First, reconfigure your client to use HTTP instead of HTTPS. Next, set up a proxy and configure your client to send requests through this proxy. Then configure the proxy to forward requests via HTTPS to the remote server. Finally, use Wireshark to capture the request between your client and the proxy. You'll get both the request and response. The request will be mostly intact while the response may include some extra headers from the proxy, but this won't hinder your troubleshooting. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To decrypt HTTPS messages from a C-Sharp HTTP client using Wireshark, you can enable system logging for your application. This involves modifying the application's config file to log unencrypted request and response data. Create a config file named appname.exe.config and place it in the same directory as your executable. This file will set up the logging. Here's a sample configuration code to include in your config file. It sets up tracing for system.net and system.net.sockets.
you may choose to log only system.net sockets to avoid performance issues when running from the command line. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.